whoa, whoa, what are you what doing? Come on, he's just a kid. D don't shoot him. Oh, you don't want to shoot me just because you're dumb. I am not shooting a kid. I am. We'd be allowed to kill him. You yeah, normally killing children in games isn't, isn't I mean, allowed. I mean, I am Dad, happy. I don't like to leave anyone behind. Those two have dialogue if you keep shoving yourself into them. So those barrels explode, and when you explode the barrels, as you can see, yeah, uh, they stun the enemies. They're very helpful during all stages of the game. I love the little dialogue uh, spoken by the enemies. Like, especially uh, the ants. The ants have the best dialogue, in my opinion. So you get achievements for headshots, you get also achievements for something called executions, which I will be demonstrating uh, in a bit. Just not now. Do you know how we can get to Nine Torg? Buddy, all I know is fish and I barely know fish. But let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Are we pretending or is there really a laundromat? Come on, kid, take the hint. Either we're pretending or Nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh, Christ, just follow that path along the sludge. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Oh, hey. Yeah, Quick introduction to Kenny's Glob Shot. It's it basically his shot. special or secondary yeah. fire, yeah. I guess you could call it. It slows down time when you're aiming it, so you can use that actually where during fights. It bounces off solid surfaces like metals, walls, etc. etc. Also, it can help you slingshot yourself across the map. This is a trick used by several speedrunners. Basically, what you do is sit on one of the platforms that you're supposed to uh, lower or uh, get higher with Kenny's glob shot and then plane shot yourself ahead. And of course, last but not least, you can stun enemies with it. Uh, you can bounce enemies in the air and then keep juggling them by attacking them several times again. I keep forgetting I don't have the knife yet, which is a melee attack, by the way, obviously. There is an extra uh, quote-unquote secret dialogue that you get if you wait for a bit uh, in this area. Basically, the guy talks about his lover, his ex-dead lover, and you can claim to be the uh, uh, ex-dead lover brought back to life. Which is a pretty messed up thing to do, and they call you out on it in-game. Like, the, the guy says you will traumatize him forever. You guys are selling a knife, yeah? perfect. You're really late. We were starting to get worried. Just go with it. No shooting. All right. Here's the product. A genuine talking knife. I gotta be honest with you. He's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you. I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's just gonna drop right out of there. <laughs> See what I'm That's talking about? Uh, Fuck graphic. Yes, thank image that I, I do not want to imagine and I would love to clear this out of my head. 
Listen, point me at your raw, fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there. Let's get all those guts torn up. Let's see that fucking red goop spill out. I can't stop now. Oh, uh, that's a pass for us. Is this really the knife? The ex lover is supposed to have been killed by knifey. Okay. I don't know how, considering that Knifey has to obey the guy who's actually holding him, and not the opposite. Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him, though, for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me. Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her. Oh, perfect. Finally, we're on the same page. Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene. Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability. I'm more than just a knife, you racist. I can tether too. Look up and latch on. Hell yeah. yeah. Here we go. Fucking cool, right? Oh, fuck yeah. Not as good as The that. tether it's ability by Knifey right. is your we're mode of transportation. Like, like the preferred mode plans. of transportation, I guess. It's the fastest way to get around, it's the way to get to unreachable areas. Something I haven't mentioned about Kenny's blob shot is that you have to attack the areas with the green goo on them. You can't just randomly attack stuff and hope that it slingshots you or that it moves. What you just saw was the aforementioned execution that you can do with knifey on enemies. If their HP is low enough, I don't know how to specifically trigger it, but if their HP is low enough and he can one-shot them, he will do their just that. The gat rule is ammo for your special attacks or your secondary fire for all of the guns, not just Kenny. Something I haven't mentioned about Kenny's blob shot is that you have to attack the areas with the green goo on them. You can't just randomly attack stuff and hope that it slingshots you or that it moves. Usually speaking, I think one attack from Nike is equal to two attacks from Kenny. So it takes four attacks from Kenny to kill the green ants, but two from Nike. Also, there is a bit of an issue with Nike that the camera just, I don't know, that does a stupid thing where it switches to their feet when you're attacking with Nike. So just be careful about that. You can't be damaged during an execution, which is the animation thing that uh, Nike does when he's uh, stabbing or killing someone. So use that as you will. You don't have to keep killing everyone with Nike, I just prefer stabbing with Nike. Over me there. I think I got caught up in the moment or something, but hey, good work, team. Let's go get Nine Torque. 